hello everyone so now we are going to do one more lab in this video we are going to learn how we can configure the DSCP server in the layer 2 switch so now we are going to learn how we can configure the DSCP server in the layer 2 switch we are going to do this lab in the packet tracer okay so I will click here let me select the layer 2 switch this is a layer 2 switch I will take some PC okay this is a client I can take two and I will click and let me connect this machine to our switch now the most important thing we need to configure the DSCP server in the L2 switch let me rename this one I will give this as a SW but in the real scenario we will not configure in the layer 2 switch not in the layer 3 switch we are going to have the complete dedicated server that is Windows server or Linux server that will be working as a DSCP server but for the lab purpose to have the knowledge we are going to discuss here try to do this lab it will improve your knowledge and skills but in real scenario we will not do configuration in the layer 2 switch we are going to do that one separate dedicated server Windows server we are going to use in the real scenario ok so let me take the console of this one this is a layer 2 switch ok this is a layer 2 switch this is a console let me open the console of the switch here we will do basic configuration first of all I want to show you the console and the topology both so I think now you can see so what we will do here basic configuration first of all let me correct the name let me change the name of the switch I will write here host name SW then I will assign the IP to the VLAN so I will take the VLAN one by default all uh, switch is having the VLAN one all ports are in the VLAN one this port is also in the VLAN one this port also in the VLAN one so what I will do I will configure the gateway as a VLAN one only okay so here I am assigning the IP to the VLAN 1 interface VLAN 1 then I will write IP address 192.168.1.1255.255.255.0 and we will write no shared okay what I done just I assign the IP address here after that what we can do we need to create the DSCP pool okay so first of all I will exclude one IP I will write IP DSCP exclude what address we will exclude we will, add, uh, we will exclude the gateway so this will be our gateway so I will exclude this one now I am going to do the IP DSCP pool configuration pool name you can give anything I will give network for you okay or IP DSCP DSCP I put the spelling mistake here that's why that issue we have now I need to give the pool name so I will write here pool you can give any name I will use network for you okay in this one we need to define the uh, whatever the IP we want to give so I want to give the IP from 192.168.1.0 subnet mask will be 255.255.0 and the gateway what we will give we will give the gateway as 192.168.1.1 okay so this is a DSCP configuration we done now I will ex exit and I will save the configuration here now you can go to this machine and go to the desktop and click the IP and click here DSCP let's see you get the IP from the DSCP 192.168.1.2 this layer 2 switch working as a DSCP server let me go to the laptop if you click here also select the DSCP you will have the IP here 192.168.1.3 now you can go here and type here ping 192.168.1.2 reply is coming this PC is communicating with this PC okay in this lab what we learn we learn how we can configure the DSCP server in the layer 2 layer 2 switch okay or thing also if we can check let me go here show IP DSCP you can press question mark okay yeah this option is available here also if you see here you can write show IP DSCP server show IP DSCP you can check the binding if you have any conflict you can check if you have pool if you have relay or is, uh, whatever option you want you can check here okay so first of all I will check show IP DSCP binding if you see this two IP we give so we are getting this one if I write show IP DSCP 
pool so we can get the pool whatever pool we configure then if i write show ip dscp what else we can write here conflict we don't have any conflict so we cannot see that one and if you want to write show ip dscp relay we don't have any relay so you cannot see that one if you see relay relay information because we did not configure any relay and what else we can see snooping database we can see this also so all comments is available in the layer 2 switch okay i hope this is clear for you thank you